Hello friends, in this part of video, I will create low poly modeling of this game asset and in the next part of tutorial, I will create high poly version of this game asset and then texture it in Substance Painter. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever I upload my next video. Go to create menu, select plane and creation method will be rectangle. Simply drag a rectangle on the viewport. We don't need extra segments on the plane so we will remove it. Go to modify panel. In the parameters tab, reduce the length and width segments to 1. To edit the plane, we need to make it convert to editable poly. So right click convert to editable poly. To clearly see our reference image through our plane, we have to see the plane in X-ray view mode. Alt text is the shortcut for the X-ray view mode. To edit the plane, go to editable poly and select vertex. I am selecting the top two vertices and moving it downward. I am reducing the plane width to match with our reference image. We have to make a rounded corner for the plane to match our reference image display panel. For this, go to editable poly sub object mode and select vertex. Now select all the vertices of the plane and click right mouse button and select chamfer. Increase chamfer amount and segments and click OK. Now click and hold left mouse button, drag and select two vertices, click right mouse button and select connect. It will create an edge between the selected vertices. I am adjusting the plane by selecting vertices and dragging them up. Let's rename our plane and give it a name like display panel. As of now our display panel is completed. Let's hide it by clicking right mouse button and select hide selection. Create another plane and drag it on the viewport. Press Alt X for X review. Keep the X value to 0. Now make it convert to editable poly. Mask the plane with the reference image. As you can see, the top part of the model is tapered. We need to add an edge segment in the middle of the plane. You can select the Shift Loop tool under Edit to add an extra segment in our plane. Now select the top vertices and reduce its width to match with the reference image. To get a round shape at bottom, we will use chamfer again. Now connect these vertices as well. I am matching the plane as much as possible. We will now add thickness to the plane. Go to left view and move the plane at back side. Go to modify panel. In the modify list, search for shell modifier. Increase value of the outer mount in the parameter section. Make it convert to editable poly. Let's adjust the position of the pivot point by going to hierarchy, affect pivot only, center to object. Affect pivot only transform the pivot without moving object. Keep the y axis value to 0. From left view, we need to taper the top part of the box as well. The box corners are very sharp right now, so we will chamfer the all four corners. Select the top polygon of the box and delete it. Now go to editable poly sub object mode and select edge. Hold down control key while double clicking on the edge loops. Press right mouse click button and select chamfer. Increase the chamfer amount and segments. Select the edge loop and add some chamfer amount here also.
Let's rename it. Unhide the display panel mesh and move it to the front side. We need circular shape at the top. Go to editable poly sub object mode and select border. Now select the hole and click right mouse button and choose cap option. Select the polygon again and in the edit tab choose geo poly option. I will add an additional edge loop in the box. Now what we will do is we will attach both the meshes and make it one. Select the shown polygons and delete them. To attach both the meshes select the first mesh and go to edit geometry. Select attach button and then click on the other mesh. To bridge the gap select any two opposite edges and click on bridge option. Because our object created at the world center, we can easily symmetry one side to other side and back side as well. This will save our some time. To remove these extra edge loops, we don't need them as of now. Select the two edge loops, hold down control key and press backspace in your keyboard. Delete the top polygon. Select all the shown polygons and add group inset amount to them. To do this, click right mouse button and in the pop-up window, choose inset box. Cap the hole and add an inset amount to it as well. Click right mouse button and choose collapse option. Let's create a simple display. Add shell modifier as we did for the previously in the video. Our next step is to create the buttons. We will create just one and make three copy of it. Friends, I am repeating the same process as I did for the display panel earlier in this video. To connect one vertex across the other vertex, we need cut tool. Simply press right mouse button and in the pop-up window select cut. Click and hold on left mouse button and drag the line to the other vertex and click left mouse button again. After that you can press right mouse button to escape from the cut tool. Make sure you out of sub object mode to copy a mesh, hold down shift key and drag the arrow key to duplicate a mesh. Attach all the four pieces. Create a cylinder and convert it to editable poly. Line the cylinder with the box mesh. Match the cylinder with reference image. Add two edge loops on the cylinder. Check the border and scale it up. Double click on the edge loop and scale it up as well. Insert two more edge loops. Now we will create a fan cover. Keep the sides to 32. Select the two opposite polygons. Make it inset. Now bridge it. 
select a single edge press alt r and connect increase the value to 2 select the polygon loop press r hold down control shift and left mouse button drag this will create a new mesh Add shell modifier to the new mesh. Attach both the pieces. Now we will create these pieces. Hold down control key while double clicking and selecting multiple edge loops. I am adding chamfer to selected edge loops. To complete a bridge operation, I am selecting two polygons on opposite side. To select polygon loop, Click any single polygon, hold down control key and double click on the next polygon. Delete the selected polygons. Now select the borders, press R, hold down shift key and left mouse button drag to create new polygon loop. Collapse the selection. Select any edge, press alt R to select the edge ring and add one connection to it. Select the border edge loops, apply chamfer to bevel the border. We will now use the symmetry on Z axis to mirror the pieces we just created. Rename the object. Let's create the fan now. And keep the sides to 30. Select the two polygons and apply Insert and Extrude operations. Now select the edge ring and add two connections. Follow the polygon selection pattern which we will extrude in the next step. Scale it up to match with the reference image. Go to left view and match from this side as well. Now we select these polygons and apply inset and collapse operations. Create a new cylinder to make rod for the fan. Align all the objects properly. I hope you like my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. This was the first part for the game asset. In the next part I will create the high poly version of the asset and import it into Substance Painter for baking and texturing. 
press the bell icon so you will get notification whenever i will upload the next video thanks for watching